Okay, so you're watching this video and maybe the title caught your eye because you're interested in getting your GED and that is excellent. So I want to congratulate you on just even clicking and watching this video. I'm going to try to help you out here in a couple minutes, give you some very powerful advice so you can pass the GED. Obviously, I know you want to pass the GED or you wouldn't be watching this video. So I'm going to get into exactly some of the um, major mistakes that people uh, make when they're studying for the GED. And we're going to be talking about math, okay? Because math is the number one area that stops people from getting their GED, okay? So I've been uh, working with uh, uh, students or adults um, that need to go back and get their GED for, and sometimes it's maybe they're, uh, you know, one or two years out of high school. Sometimes they're 50 years out of high school. So I have a lot of experience with this. So you want to stick around for a couple minutes and get this advice. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school uh, math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. And I'm also going to leave a link to my GED math prep course. Okay, I'll talk about that a little bit uh, more here in this video, but I'm going to leave a link to both of those things. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high, uh, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, uh, you can check out my uh, courses. I can help you pass those. Now, of course, we are talking about the GED. So the course I'm going to recommend is the one I'm going to leave a link to in the description of this video, which is my GED math prep course. But um, again, obviously, I do a lot in the area of test preparation, but I'm going to be focused in on the GED in this video. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. If you happen to uh, be homeschooling yourself or know somebody that homeschools, and I also have great math notes in the description of this video, but let's just focus in on the GED and get right to it. All right, so what are some of the uh, mistakes that uh, people make about the GED? Well, first of all, it's the number one area. Math is the uh, number one area that really stops people from getting their GED. And the reason why is I think it's twofold. One, uh, people are just by nature and I would say, I'm not even uh, including myself, we all kind of look for shortcuts, okay? It's like, yeah, you know, listen, I just want to get my GED. Uh, just tell me the quickest way from point A to point B. What's the fastest way for me to do this? And unfortunately, there's a lot of things out there in uh, on the internet and whatnot, but people are selling, you know, these unrealistic things. Hey, you know, uh, get your GED quickly, uh, only a couple days, you know, one week and you'll have your GED. Uh, you can learn math, you can pass this and that and everything else. Listen, uh, when you look for shortcuts, oftentimes that's not going to, uh, you know, get you to pass, all right? And this is can be very frustrating for students because, you know, you want to trust certain things and you're looking, what you're looking for, the shortest way to do things. And if someone's telling, telling you, oh, yes, it's easy to do this, well, of course, you know, it's just human nature to want to buy into those different type of programs. But guess what? They, it's not going to work, okay? It's not going to work. Because uh, the GED, and this is the kind of the second uh, reason that students uh, struggle with it or adults who take it, is uh, I think they need to understand uh, what is, you know, what truly is on the GED. Okay, what kind of math is on the GED? And I'm going to focus on this right now. There is a lot of math on the GED. Now, it used to be back um, decades ago matter of fact oh, i want to say 2013 2014 the ged changed but uh, the ged kind of had this somewhat reputation um and i don't want to over speak to this too much but you know people didn't give the, the test as much respect as you know um as it you know today okay if you get your ged that is very much the high school equivalency but back in the day uh people would say oh yeah the ged that's basic math you know it's you can easily get through it and maybe some of that might have been kind of true, but today's new GED, and I mean, I'm referring to the GED uh, since uh, 2013, I want to say, 2013, 2014, I forget the exact year, but there was a major uh, overhaul to the GED. You need to know um, a lot of high school mathematics. Think about it. You're getting a high school equivalency, so you, now you really do have to show, demonstrate proficiency in high school level mathematics. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of that math. Well, the first thing is you're going to have to know uh, some basic math, period, you know, point blank as a, as a starting point. Okay, so I'm talking your arithmetic, 
fractions, you know, working with basic uh, decimals and whatnot. So if you um, are not uh, familiar with arithmetic, yeah, that's a good starting point for you, okay? So, you know, you know, basic math, obviously, but the GD is far more than basic math, okay? So let's talk about the next thing that you're going to definitely encounter on the GED, and that is algebra, okay? And not just basic algebra like this. If I give you this equation, 2y is equal to 10, all right, some of you out there will be like, oh, okay, y is equal to 5, okay? Hopefully you knew that, and if you didn't, don't uh, panic, okay? Of course, you need to study for the GED, but this is basic algebra. There's far more advanced algebra on the GED. Okay, so you're like, oh yeah, I could do these algebra problems. No, that's not what we're talking about. Okay, we're talking like, you know, like algebra one. You know, think about it. You're going to get um, uh, your GED, your it's, uh, your high school equivalency, and uh, algebra one is you know at a minimum type of math that people in high school have to take. So it's a lot more algebra than than students. Uh, you know, I think, or uh, adults or whoever's trying to pass a GED are surprised. I, I've, I've, I've gotten feedback from uh, people who have taken a GED over the last years and, and the type of, some of the type of problems on there. Like, wow, that's pretty decent amount of algebra. So you're going to have to study a lot of algebra. Now let's move on to the next thing. I'm going to call it data, but basically what I mean there is like basic probability and statistics. Okay, so what is the average? What's the mean? What's the mode? That's kind of thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, don't worry about it. You know, be able to calculate basic probability. This is not that difficult. All this right here is in my GED math prep course, but you're going to have to be familiar with some of these uh, basic uh, probability and statistics, statistics concepts to include graphs, okay? How to read graphs like bar charts or frequency tables, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's talk about the next thing. And the last thing, and that would be geometry, okay? And again, we're talking like kind of like high school level geometry, not just the basic things like here is a rectangle, here's the length, here's the width, you know, calculate the area of the rectangle. Uh, that's just um, area is equal to the length times the width. That's nice and easy. But the geometry that is on a GED is, again, more at the high school level, all right? So what does this all add up to, okay? What does this mean to you? Well, it means this, okay? Uh, there are no shortcuts to learn math, okay? Uh, if I if I had that shortcut, uh, you know, like the ultimate shortcut to teach you all this, like in three days, like I just download it into your brain, I certainly would be like, here, there it is right here, just go and download it. We're not there yet with technology. <laughs> maybe in 50 years you can just download knowledge, who knows, maybe sooner who, <laughs> with the way uh, artificial intelligence is going. So uh, you can't use AI all right, to uh, do this. So guess what? You're going to have to just use intelligence, all right? And you are intelligent enough to pass the GED. I know you are. You, every, everybody out there listening to this video can pass the GED, okay? But it's going to start with the following, okay? So let's just kind of uh, do this real quick. Here is your, your face. Hopefully you have a happy face on right now. You're going to have to change your mindset. That's where you're going to have to start first. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is saying like, I am going, just make a decision. Do you want to get your GED? Uh, yes or no? Well, if you don't have your GED, I absolutely encourage you to for sure get your GED. So just make that decision right now. I am going to get uh, my GED. Start speaking like very affirmative statements to yourself. I will get my GED. I will do whatever it takes to get my GED. So the first thing you need to do is to check your mindset. Okay, and hopefully... You already have a good mindset right now, but a lot of people out there have this math anxiety, like, I don't think I can pass a math. Um, whatever negative statements you have about math, you need to end those, okay? So uh, this all goes into your mindset. I'm going to tell you right now, if you fail math consistently, there's reasons for that. You as an adult, a motivated adult, can pass the, uh, the GED math section and get your GED, okay? So I'm just telling you right now, just have faith and believe that. So that's the first thing, change your mindset, okay? Now, along with that, just realize, okay, it's going to take work and time, all right? So you you have to learn a lot of stuff here, work and time, all right? You're going to have to put in the work, the consistency, and you'll, you'll be willing to do this if you've made up your mind. If you're like, I will get my GD no matter what, I can get through the math, that's the first starting point, then you have to actually go ahead and start learning. Now, think about it. A student in high school, um, they took, that's algebra is like one year. Okay, actually, it's, uh, you could take algebra too. That's two years. Geometry is like a one-year course. 
you know, basic math. That's like middle school math and whatnot. These are years worth of, um, you know, learning mathematics. So you're going to have to spend some time uh, to, you know, kind of work on building your math skills, but you can do it. All right. And it's not going to take all, multiple years. Okay. It's not going to take that long, but you have to be truly committed and highly, highly focused. All right. So focus is huge. When you study, you got to get in a really focused state. So try to find a, a room in your, um, your house or your home, someplace where you can just say, okay, when you sit down, it's serious business, okay? And you got to be consistent. The harder you work, um, uh, the faster you'll be able to be ready to take and pass the GED. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is you need to find a great program, okay? So you need to, uh, you don't, you know, trying to teach all this math to yourself, learning it from a book or something like that, uh, that's kind of risky. That's really a struggle. So what are some uh, great programs out there? Well, you might be able to go to like an adult education um, math uh, class, okay, in your local community. So you can just do some quick, you know, Google search or call your local department of education um, or school, okay, high school. Hey, listen, do you have any GDU programs? Uh, oftentimes you'll find something that's free. That's a good place to go. So if you're comfortable uh, going into, if you like learning in an actual classroom with a teacher, you know, there's probably a math class you can take, okay? But if you uh, want to have something that's more flexible that you can control, then you need to do some sort of uh, course like mine. Now, I have a great, um, I've had excellent uh, results with my GD Math program. It's been out there, my GD Math prep course, it's been out there for years. It's countless people have used it and passed the GED. So it's a very, very comprehensive math course. Again, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video, but you need to learn from a teacher, okay? Uh, not a book, okay? A book is going to be tough, right? A teacher, someone that you like and understand, and hopefully if you like my teaching style, um, you know, uh, that would be, you know, then you would want to learn from me. Now, you don't even have to take my program. That's the best way to, uh, to get ready for it. You can, I have tons of free content on my YouTube channel, so start there if that's something that you're more comfortable with. If you're committed and you want to just make a small investment to have a formal program, then get yourself into a formal routine, a form, formal uh, a kind of game plan so you can say, all right, in the next three months, I'm going to study like crazy, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my GD, GED and secure it. Okay, I would not delay in terms of getting your GED. And by the way, if you're in some other states, you might um, be able to take the high set uh, and or the task. Okay, it all depends. Like, for example, I think the task is in New York, the high sets in some other states. So there basically, there's a couple other exams out there that are um, similar in nature, high school equivalency as the GED. Some of you may have, have uh, the option to take all of these. Some may only take one of these. So it all depends on what state you're in. But here's the deal. Okay, you can pass a GED and hopefully um, this little video has motivated you to be like, you know what, once and for all, I'm just going to take care of whatever take, I, you know, whatever happened to you in your past, whatever chipped you up for getting, um, uh, getting your high school, uh, diploma. Listen, that is in the past. Okay. Don't have any, um, you know, um, my suggestion is like make peace with that. Okay. You yourself right now. Okay. Focus on now and the future okay you can't resolve whatever happened to the past but in terms of math i'm telling you right now even if you failed math over and over and over again you are ready okay just by virtue of you searching around and watching this video you are ready to be successful in math you just got to change your mindset and put in the work and uh, put in the time and eventually you will get your ged all right so if this little video helped you out in some small way motivated you to do that please consider smashing that like button and please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. I have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel, basic to advanced math. So you don't want to watch all of them. Okay. Like especially the more advanced stuff, cause it's not on the GED. That's why you want to check out like my specific GED math course. You want to get the right amount of math. You don't want to overstudy or understudy. You really need to know exactly what you, um, need to, what math skills you need to be focusing in and on. So you're going to be successful on the GED. Okay. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, on the GD and in all your endeavors in uh, life. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.